Start the VCDS software and plug up the Hex V2 to your computer. Click on the Options button, then click on the Test button. You should get a message stating that the interface is found and identified as a Hex V2. Click OK. Now click on the Config button to open up the VCDS Interface Configuration Utility. Go to the Registration tab. If your Hex V2 is registered, then you will see your information. If the Hex V2 is not registered, then you will be presented with a registration form. Review the Rostec Privacy Policy on our website, then check the box to accept the terms of the Privacy Policy. Fill out the required information and then click on the Submit Registration Request button. A pop-up message will inform you the information was successfully submitted and you will receive an email with the information to finalize the registration. When you receive the email from Rostec, you will find your transaction ID. Copy this information and submit it to the transaction ID field in the VCDS interface configuration utility. Click the finalize registration button. A pop-up message will let you know the registration was successful. Click OK. Back in the main VCDS software under the options screen, do another port test. Click OK and then click on Save to return to the first screen of the VCDS software. Click the About button and see if your information is shown. This verifies the Hex V2 is registered. Also on the About screen you will find some useful links. The Rostec Wiki website, our free technical website, and the Rostec web form, where registered customers can sign up to get free vehicle technical support.